Hi there, Neil from Diagonal Move here, back at the board gaming table today with a component overview of the Battle of Midway, a competitive two-player board game uh, set during one of the key actions of the Pacific War during World War II. Uh, it's a game that is jointly released from Board Games, which are a Polish manufacturer. I don't know too much about them, but their partners in this release are a company called Kobe Toys, and they are one of the most popular companies here in the Diagonal Move household because they make the kind of building block toys that you wish you had when you were a kid. And here we are with some of their full-scale models there. Hopefully you can see those on the screen without obscuring the game. Now, these full-size models do not come as part of this particular box. Instead, we do get to play with some of these more diminutive aircraft here. I'm going to move away the big models, open up the box, and have a look at what's inside of the Battle of Midway. Okay, components for Battle of Midway. The board game are out on the table underneath the box there. But let's have a quick look at the box first. We have the uh, very evocative artwork of the aerial dogfight between the Japanese and American forces above an aircraft carrier. Very uh, evocative there of the Battle of Midway, one of the bigger naval stroke air battles of the Pacific War. The designers of this particular game are Sebastian Srebro and Premislav Kot Rumbowski. Apologies if that is a horrible mispronunciation of anybody's name. Um, there are 60 building blocks which between them make 12 models alongside all the other components that you need to play the game. Jointly released, as I said, by Board Games and Kobe Toys. It's part of their block game range. This is the second, I think, release in that range. Uh, the previous one being more focused on a tank battle. But this one intrigued me because we do have a map for, for the Battle of Midway. It is the uh, uh, an aerial combat game. Um, the text here is in a mix of languages. We have German, Polish, and I believe Czech might not be check but I think it's check um, and of course we then we have English as well and basically the blurb says lead the fleet of the Empire of Japan or the Pacific US fleet decide how the most important naval battle of World War II in the Pacific will unfold guide your planes to victory in this exciting tactical game the Battle of Midway is a fun way to learn strategy and tactics but most of all an epic battle of wits for admirals of all ages from that description you're probably going to realize that this is not a deep strategic simulation of the Battle of Midway, but much more of an entry level uh, game with a historical war theme. Uh, various components at the bottom there, we do have those 60 blocks making 12 planes, as I mentioned, nine tiles, 43 cards, and a range of different tokens and a rule book. Really, that game is language independent for anyone who was wondering about any text on the cards or anything like that. Okay, here then is the contents of that box. Battle of Midway rulebook. It's in multiple languages, giving you a nice breakdown of all the different parts and what they will do. Rulebook is um, kind of almost in that uh, familiar uh, multiple bu um, bullet point style of many war games, although clearly the rules are somewhat more straightforward than many games. And you basically, you fly your planes around and depending on the game mode, there are two. One is One is requiring you to uh, basically get one of your planes or a, a plane that represents a bomber onto the aircraft carrier tile of your opponent and the other is more around destroying the most of the enemy's planes. So depending on which mode you have, you have various actions revolving around flight and combat. There's a bidding system for the initiative and you um, basically um, make manoeuvres with your planes and attempt to outwit the opponent in a in a dogfight and you have various cards that allow you to um, modify your actions as you go through. Um, the aircraft included in the game are there are six for each player, four of which represent fighters and then the other two actually count as either a bomber or a fighter ace depending on whether you're playing that aircraft carrier mode or this domination mode which we've got here. Um, the rule book is from what I wrote my brief read earlier, it's fairly straightforward to understand. And there is the option for other variants if you go to the board games website, which is listed there in the rule book. So total rule list of rules, it's not much more than um, six pages. If that was a, isn't a bigger A4 letter size, you'd probably down to about three or four pages in total of the rules. 
and there are some examples and what have you throughout that rule set so really not many rules at all for a pacific war game um what else to get in the box when well, we have them sort of the main event if you like inside these plastic bags we have the pieces that make up the plane uh, we have the planes themselves and those little stands and these propellers um, i've kept them in the bag like this just for demonstration of how they arrive um, but when you actually make them in the couple of spares i have here uh, you do turn them into these really nifty looking uh, planes there of the, of the Japanese Zero and I think it's the F4. I'm not sure. I'm not a huge expert on military vehicles but um, really neat looking models that you move around what will eventually be quite a nice map. Um, <clears throat> interestingly I didn't see in the rule book anywhere that shows you how to put these together but they're fairly intuitive and honestly if I can put them together anybody can. Um, there are some stickers also to go with those and so you will need to sticker these as we have done here with these planes um, so some stickers there in addition you do have a bunch of cards like I, as i mentioned before and there are some specific to each player some american uh, player cards there with special actions on and their japanese player equivalent um, and then you have various things like scoring cards scoring tracks and then various maneuver cards that you buy and then you play during your turn as part of your actions as you try to outwork the enemy in that dogfight. Uh, a whole bunch of cards, there's, there's 40 odd of them as I said. They're quite interesting compared to many games I've played in the sense that they are completely square cut. Um, reasonably thin but quite glossy. They're, they're sort of very different I suppose to some of the some of the cards that I'm used to seeing in some of the other games that I, that I have. Um, particularly the fact that they're square cut. I, if you're somebody who sleeves cards, I really wouldn't know what to recommend in terms of, of how you would sleeve them or what size you would need. But they look almost like playing card size, but just without those rounded edges. Um, and then we have various uh, other cards here, which you use during combat, some for each side, and then two uh, range finders, which tell you uh, how you uh, how you target your opponent depending on where you are relative to them. Okay, so a bunch of cards, um, which I will place to one side for the moment. And then we have two sheets of tokens and tiles. Now these things fall out really easily, um, as you can see. Um, they're sort of these hexagonal uh, playing surface. And when you put them together, they, they make quite a big board. And I can have a go at doing that um, to show you what it looks like when it's set up. Here is the Battle of Midway board all set up then, and you have uh, Midway in the middle, obviously an air, an air base, uh, there is a representation of an aircraft carrier on these two tiles, and you would, from what I understand at least, you would play these tokens here in combination with these tokens to, um, and also these tokens, in order to manoeuvre these, these planes around, you'll have six on each side. The aim in this aircraft carrier battle mode of getting your uh, uh, bomber onto the opponent's uh, aircraft carrier, signifying that you've destroyed it. Um, the other mode, you would simply flip some of the tiles over and you have uh, a reinforcements entry area when you have a pure uh, dogfight situation. Now, depending on which one of those modes you're playing, the time that it will take to play is around about 30 minutes to an hour. So when you get all these set up, I'm sure it would look absolutely fantastic. I've only got the two that are made up at the moment, but there are some other bits and bobs in here as well. Uh, a couple of extra smaller tiles in case you fly off the board um, and then various other tokens that you the, that you use. As I mentioned, the, the tile quality is pretty good. Um, it's not the thickest in the world, but it's not bad. Um, and the illustration is, is quite nice and it does have, I think, quite a good table presence within that uh, star of hexes there um, featuring featuring those two planes okay cool okay that will be the end of this video i will follow this up with a uh, playthrough at some time in the near future um, and i hope you will be able to join me for that in the meantime though i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you next time